Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge Bath and Body Works trash talk to share with you. I essentially have just like allowed myself to get back to burning candles. So we've got a ton to talk about on the candle front, but then also because it's been so long since I have filmed like any content, I have a lot of body care that has piled up as well. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in with the hand soaps that I have finished off. So I have three, yeah, three hand soaps sitting in front of me. First one that I have is, I consider this like a fall holiday staple. It is Harvest Gathering. It is fresh picked apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. Oh, I think this one smells so yummy around like Thanksgiving, Christmas time. It just to me is like a classic holiday scent. I also really love the white barn packaging they've been doing lately that have just the labels at the top here and then either like some kind of nice coloring or small detail on the plastic. This is just lovely. Very happy to have used up another one this year. And then I also purchased the Sweet Whiskey. This is a scent I purchased on a buy online pickup in store, like blind, hadn't smelled it. The notes of this are golden amber, vanilla infused, um, let's see, vanilla infused whiskey. I had to peel off the like try me sticker. And then it says sweet berries. This was so yummy. Mm. It's kind of like a sweet cologne scent like I could definitely see this coming out as a men's care line scent it probably has actually but it was lovely also again love the purple packaging on this and the scent of it was just so nice it's one of those ones that I feel like is good to have kind of in between seasons like coming off of the Christmas wave and then moving into like just like spring scents like in between there this is a really good kind of palette cleanser did like it and then last one that I have is one that I picked up during semi-annual sale. I'm really surprised that I went for it. Frosted Coconut Snowball. This is toasted coconut, whipped vanilla, and sugar crystals. I have probably smelled this scent a ton, passed over it, not really been into it, but my mother-in-law at her house at Christmas had it, and I was using it, and I was like, I actually really like the smell of this. And I had said to myself at the time, I was like, if this is available at some annual sale, like I probably would pick it up. And it was, so I used it, I liked it. It also was nice coming off of like my really rich, heavy, like balsam fur type of scents. It was a good one to have in between those seasons as well. So that takes care of the hand soaps. Then I have a random one-off. It is a giant hand sanitizer. This is the A Thousand Wishes Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer. These I used to use religiously in my classroom and then they became very scarce at Bath and Body Works stores. It seemed like they were moving away from these. They were very hard to find. And then there was a resurgence of them and I had a coupon to get one for free. So I definitely snapped it up. And then I've just been very slowly <laughs> using it. I love this scent. I think it is a beautiful, I think it is a beautiful scent to have. And it was just one of those things that was very nice to have both a large size of. I do a lot of pocket backs, but it was nice to have something with an actual pump. I've kept my eye on these since then, and I haven't really come across scents that I like. I do care about what the scent is. So for now, I'm just like using random hand sanitizers that I come across for pretty cheap for my classroom. But if I had a scent like this, I would definitely snap it up again. Let's go ahead and talk body care. Now, normally I have Ben body care to talk about, but he's been working on his non bath and body works shower gel for a while and then for his creams he's been cutting them open and throwing them out so I haven't been saving them but I myself have two to share the first is the cozy Sunday morning this came out in the 2021 body care day collection it is described as fresh lavender creamy vanilla and soft sandalwood I really enjoyed this scent mm. it's a really pleasant just soft scent I really liked to have it at night. It was very calming. So I really enjoyed this. I like squeezed it all out. I used to cut open my body creams. I just don't really want to anymore. So now I just manipulate it to a point where I feel like I get a good like majority of it out and then I just call it quits. The texture of this was very nice. Again, the smell is really nice. I picked up a few from this. I think there were three scents. I think it was this and the rose latte that I gravitated towards the most and I really enjoyed playing with this. The second one that I have is so lovely. I got this during the summer semi-annual sale. It was Pear Creme Brulee. Oh boy. There were a few scents from this line that I really enjoyed. This has baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. This 
was super intensely bakery. Like there were certain times I would get the pear note right away. And then as I was blending it into my skin, the, ooh, that like creme brulee caramelized note became very, very present. It definitely is something that I think is not everyone's cup of tea. Like I can't imagine it's the scent that they would bring back every single year, but I loved it and I really loved it as a body care scent. I would personally love to see this as a candle. I feel like as a candle scent or home fragrance, it would be amazing, but I don't know how well those notes would work together in home fragrance, but it was lovely, very happy that I've used it up and really happy to be using up body creams so shortly after having gotten them into my collection. So both of these were lovely, definitely recommend. Now I have three shower gels to share with you. First is a classic. I like to use basically something from the body care line of this scent and it's snowflakes and cashmere every winter. The notes are not included on this, but it's basically just like a vanilla. Mm like a soft, lovely spice vanilla scent. I really like it. I like it as a body cream. I like it as a shower gel. As long as I get this scent somewhere in my winter routine, I'm a big fan of it. I do have a body cream. I'm not sure I'll pull it out and use it. Might save it for next year, but it's a lovely, lovely scent for this time of year. Big fan. And then I also pulled out Whipped Berry Meringue. This is from that same pear collection I was just talking about. This is Fresh Berries, Whipped Sugar, and Fluffy Vanilla. I wouldn't say I would normally gravitate towards something like this, but I just have been wanting vanilla based scents lately. And this was really lovely. I enjoyed it for the winter. It's definitely a one and done. I'm pretty sure the one that I've pulled out right now, um, it's like cotton candy clouds, something like that that I got over the summer. I'm pretty sure it's just a repackage of this that I'm using and then I think I'll be all set with that scent, but I really do like it. It's just been a nice change of pace from a lot of rose that I have been binging. Speaking of, I do have the Whipped Rose Latte Shower Gel. This was Crushed Rose Petal, Cocoa Flower, and Whipped Foam. It's really, in the end, not my favorite scent. I feel like the cocoa and the rose are kind of competitor scents and not complimentary. It's not something that I'd want again. I do have the body cream that I'll work through, but after that, I think I need to just not get so sucked into rose scents and just buying it because it's got rose in it and being a bit more thoughtful about do I actually like all the elements mixed in with the rose. And I think if I had done that more with this, I probably wouldn't have snagged it, but it is what it is. Okay, now we come to like the mother load of candles. Here's essentially where I'm at. I have gone through a phase where I didn't want to burn candles because they do create soot and it's annoying to have to see soot or like scrub my countertops down in my kitchen area. But I also have gotten to a place where I'm like, I don't love that I've purchased these candles. I'm really not going to pop them out and melt the wax. I may as well just sort of burn through them, get them out of my closet because they're just kind of sitting there rotting and I do like a lot of the scents. So that is what I have done. I have a number of single wicks, surprisingly. Um, I went through a phase where I was purchasing single wicks with the intention of popping out the wax because I was like, that seems like a good thing to do like I could manage to get the wax out and be able to melt it and it wouldn't be this huge three wick abundance amount of wax and they're also super cheap during some annual sale but I've never done that so I will say I've been using them in my bedroom predominantly and they have fared pretty well I don't know if that's true of all single wicks or just the ones that I happen to have that I burned but I've been really successful first one that I burned is vanilla birch Ah, uh, this is great. It is white birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood. I have this a few times over in my collection. I just love this. I'm pretty sure people have said vanilla birch and wine cellar are the same thing. So love, love this. And then I also burned my smoked vanilla. This one, I will say these, like in general, you can see they're not the like cleanest burners. They have some soot, some squidging on them, but they get pretty far down and they're pretty, you know, again, performing pretty well for scent. Mm, this one I purchased because I couldn't find it as a three wick. It's really lovely. It's the perfect balance of marshmallow fireplace or just I guess fireplace mixed with mm, that. Oh, it's so it's like a sweeter version of marshmallow fireplace. Maybe that's me lying to myself. Maybe it is just marshmallow fireplace. I don't know, but it is so good. I don't have any scent notes on this one. And then the last one that I have did not burn very cleanly is Mary Mimosa. And I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden I went to like go put this out and the wick 
had traveled from the middle all the way over here without my realizing it. And it was just creating this big plume of like burn and smoke on here. Not great. I also had purchased, I think I have one more of these because I couldn't find this as a three wick. And when I saw it as a single wick uh, during some annual sale, I definitely snagged a couple. I have since been able to purchase this a few times over as a three wick candle. So I wouldn't buy them again in this format, but it performs scent wise the same. The throw is the same. It just had a really weird wick issue that I did not expect. And then the last, I'm going to call it a single wick, but I'm pretty sure they only put these out to be able to help you smell the wallflower scents, but it is chocolate lava cake. These you can get for like a couple of bucks during some annual sale and the wax, I have popped wax out of here before you put it in the freezer for like a half an hour and literally just go like this and the wax just falls right out. Um, so it's very easy if you want to convert them into wax melters to do that. But this was super yummy. It basically just smells like hot sauce, like hot chocolate, like warmed chocolate, melted chocolate sauce. What, what am I even saying? It just smells like chocolate. It's lovely and delightful. And in my bedroom, all four of them were great hits. The taller single wicks lasted quite a few days. And then this one was basically just over a weekend. I was able to burn through it. All right, now I have a combination of fall and winter three wick candles. So I will just talk about them at random. So the first one that I have is pumpkin peanut brittle. Holy smokes, this was amazing. This is probably my favorite scent, maybe my favorite scent out of all the ones that I had to talk about. I wish I had more of this. This is awesome. I grabbed this, I think just on a whim. I heard someone say it was good. I grabbed it, never burned it. And now I wish I had more of it. Lovely. It burned all the way down. I didn't have any kind of like icky smelling moments. I didn't have a lot of issues with it in the sense of like not burning well. So all in all, it was a good candle. Happy to have had experience with it. The notes of this were crunchy, caramel, brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds. So, so tasty. Definitely love that one. Then I burned just like a classic hot cocoa and cream. I feel like I'm kind of at the end of my love affair with this candle. I used to want to burn this like over and over again. And now I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not gonna be in like the right mood. I'm not always in the mood for it. It did not burn as smoothly. I basically got to like this point and then it just started to smell icky. Like it didn't smell good. And I don't remember that previously happening with other hot cocoa and creams that I've had. So I called it a quits on it. It was still burning fine, but just the smell of it was off putting. So I wasn't here for that. Then I had issues, I'm so sad, I finally burned Spice It Up Cinnamon Pretzel Twist. This candle I had been holding on to because I knew it wasn't a good burner and they had never been good burners. And I was like, it'll be so great though as a wax melt, but I just like, I'm not doing it, I'm not gonna melt it. Oh my gosh, even right now on cold, it still smells good, but I got to this point and it just smelled gross. I had puny wicks. It was not doing well. It was smelling icky. So I was like, you know what? Don't ruin it. Have a good scent memory of it. Call it quits here. But like, this is a good, in my opinion, like third of the candle that I've got left. Mm, so sad. I am not somebody who hot plates candles. So I'm just going to go ahead and part ways with it. But they have never brought this one back. I wish they would because it is such a yummy, yummy scent. Like it's similar in the sense of I like it as much as I like this one. This is definitely not, they're not same sense by any means, but the uniqueness and the deliciousness of them is so fabulous. I would just love to see both of those. And then I also have sweet cinnamon plum. This, the notes read juicy plum, cinnamon apples, and ground clove buds. Mm, this is so yummy, but I'm pretty sure it's vanilla birch or wine cellar. Like I distinctly remember thinking that when I was burning it, I was like, this is not a unique scent the way I thought it was. Cause I was like, plum, I love plum and things. Love to support that plum pear, my pea fruits never get a lot of tension. Mm, so nice. I am down to about here on this one as well. It wasn't a full burn because again, got a little bit icky smelling on me. So wasn't in love with it. And it was also kind of a sooter. You can see here, it's definitely sooty, but I do like the scent of it. So I'm kind of reminded that Bath and Body Works candles are very finicky and I don't find them inexpensive enough to justify that. So I am happy to be burning through them. And it is sort of getting me to not want to buy more candles because I'm like, this is a lot of maintenance in my house. The candles aren't amazing performers. So I'm hoping it kind of like gets it out of my system that I don't want to keep buying candles after this. 
And then the last one that I have is Vanilla Balsam. This is probably one of the only candles I think I've shown you for three wicks that burned all the way down and extinguished itself. Like I don't have um, problems with it. The way it has stopped burning, it's, there's just no wick left. It was lovely. Very strong candle. I really do like the balance of vanilla and balsam together. It creates like a sweetness with the balsam. So, so nice. And the sooting was not too, too terrible. So I'm going to keep burning through candles because I have candles from all seasons. I'm not even sure I'm going to finish all of the winter fall candles that I own before we get into like the true spring season. I'm by no means like in spring climate yet. We're still like, we're in what I call fake spring where it's deceivingly warm in February, but we're going to get real cold again in March and really hate ourselves. And then we'll get to that nice kind of nice weather come April in the New England area. So I don't know if I'll get through the rest of my candles from that season or if you'll still see some um, next fall and winter, but we will see. Regardless, thank you so much for being here and hearing me chat about the real abundance of Bath and Body Works items that I have. Um, it's been a good, I think like six weeks since I filmed just from illness and life and craziness happening around me. So uh, a lot of it has piled up, but I do appreciate you being here regardless. And I'll talk to you in my next video, what I hope is real soon. Bye.